Hello, my name is Linda McEnany and welcome to my show. My guests today are not only representing the United Way of Central Missouri, but, but they're a wonderful team who is leading this year's campaign. Ann Bax is the President CPO of the United Way of Central Missouri, and Jane Dunkman and Ryan Freeman are the campaign co-chairs of this year's campaign. And believe me, I've already seen them in action and they're having a lot of fun. So guys, thank you, welcome. And I know that uh, you have a lot going on, so thanks for agreeing to appear. And there was so much energy at that kickoff. Everybody was enthusiastic, everybody was having fun. Uh, the audience was having a great time. Tell us about the theme, because I think a lot of it had to do with the theme. Oh, I think you're right. So, if you dream it, you can do it, is a famous Disney quote. So, that's, that is our slogan. And, of course, everything is Disney related. And you're right, everybody loves Disney, but it's really neat how Disney, how you can, you know, you look at a Disney movie and there's always, um, the, the characters always enduring some sort of strife or conflict, but typically there's a happy ending. So, we liken that to, you know, what we're doing in our community is working helping those people that that have problems or uh, that need they need help with and we're working towards a happy ending for them that's great I you know I didn't make that association until the kickoff and then I thought gosh this just makes sense mm -hmm. it's fun the last few weeks I know have been very busy because of the pace setter campaign and and uh, for both the staff as well as the leadership team what activities take place during July and August that lead up to the kickoff? So we have our pace setters, are, there are 32 businesses and United Way agencies and staff are a pace setter and they have their campaign early. And so um, those are always very high energy, high visibility um, campaigns and, and they do a great job of really setting the bar for setting the pace for the for the upcoming campaign, which is now, but um, we've had they they do things internally that um, are just so much fun. And again, um, Jefferson Bank had um, a little competition among senior leadership. Um, I think uh, we had uh, Ken was Tigger the Tiger and and uh, Ken Theroff. Ken yeah. Theroff. Mm -hmm. Chris Wood was Peter Pan. Um, Let's see, who else helped me, Jane? Roger Dudenhafer was uh, Woody from Toy Story, and then Russ Bell was Pinocchio. Right, so they had a little competition, <laughs> and the winner, loser, winner slash loser, was Chris Wood, <laughs> and uh, so he got to do the United Wave um, on Missouri Boulevard. The United Wave. I right. saw that. From the curb, right. in his right. tights. <laughs> So, with his and, daughter, at least. And he his daughter, his daughter up for moral support. And, and believe me, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> if you know him, uh, give him a <clears throat> attaboy for doing That's it. Right. Yeah. And How uh, was the pace setter campaign? It was by the fantastic, way? and um, ended up we ended up at forty nine point eight 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 percent of our one point eight seven five million dollar goal. So over nine hundred fifty thousand dollars were raised by thirty two businesses. So. I, I, that's you know, inspiring it's, because it's, that sets the tone for the whole absolutely. campaign, don't you think? Absolutely, and we've, um, as long as I've been doing this, we've never gotten quite that close to 50%, which is always certainly a, a goal we strive for. And so, uh, again, I think it really, it just says how, um, what those, how passionate those pace setters are about this community and about what they're doing. And, and um, so we feel great about the, the next two months and that we're going to, uh, we say we're going to exceed that goal, and we've been using the Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. So, you know, we, we're going to go beyond that yeah. 1.875 million. Well, and I think it's an honor to be chosen as a pace setter, is it not? It is. It is. And, and a lot of people um, assume that it's the largest businesses in the community. It's, it's not. not that. It's a cross section of just uh, all sizes and, and all types of businesses, but business leaders, people who want to give back, and, and that is the culture of those businesses. Yeah. Both of you have, well, actually, Jane, this is your second year as mm -hmm. leader mm -hmm. Correct. of the campaign. Ryan, it's your first yeah. year, and you've committed <laughs> to help again next year. I'm a rookie a, this year. Yep. There you go. <laughs> and you've got a, an excellent yeah, a teacher, don't you? Yes. Describe your roles as, as campaign chairs. Um, well, I think it's equal, equal mm -hmm. roles, obviously, but for me, I think um, what I've focused more on, I 
think this year is just delivering that message of how valuable the United Way is, not just for the fundraising, but you kind of get caught up in the numbers because I want to do a good job for Ann and sure. of course the community. Absolutely. But what I have tried to focus on more about those people in need, and there have been some great stories, and I think from those stories drives the passion. Um, we have people come up at, at pace at the, the rallies. Uh, one in particular, I remember a gentleman coming up, and he was somewhat distraught that he he was he was on the receiving end of United Way, um, and he didn't feel like he was in a position to give too terribly much right now. But that's what it's for. It's to help people. Absolutely. And I was so inspired by his message that I really want to give back. But right now, I'm. I'm one of those people that United Way is helping. And I mean, you want to go home and cry at night, but on the other hand, it's just a joyful occasion to know that uh, we are truly giving back, not giving handouts, but a hand up at a time when people need it the most. All right. Ryan, this is your first, not your first campaign, obviously, no, no. but your first campaign as the leader, as a co-chair. Uh, how has it been? Uh, it's been a, it's been a learning experience this year. There's a lot that I, even though I've been active with the campaign in previous years, taking a larger leadership role uh, has been uh, an eye-opening experience for me because you learn so much about what the partner agencies do. You know, we have the privilege to go to all these rallies during the pace setter, and some of these campaigns we go to multiple rallies for an organization because they have different shifts, and at each rally you get to, there's a different agency that speaks. And so as Jane said, we get to hear all these life-changing stories um, that just lift up your spirits and you realize all the hard work and the volunteer efforts are, are going to the right places because you're truly changing lives. And uh, it's been an amazing experience. That's wonderful. And, and yeah. by the way, I will tell all three of you that in years to come, even after you go on from this experience, you will still have people come up from mm. the workplace and mm. say, I remember when you Right. spoke or, mm -hmm. or presented your, it, and that continues to be an expire, inspiring I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Jane this is your second year as leadership. Right. What, what's different this year versus last? Is there anything? I, I, don't, I don't know that it's it, to me there it's kind of a building and maybe it's me building to that uh, maybe the end of the second year I don't know but it's just so exciting this year and maybe the nerves got in the way the first year and this year I'm really I see the excitement it seems like we had I don't know people calling and wanting to know where's the castle that they could mm -hmm. paint and get and I just don't know that last year maybe there were a few people calling and asking for the guitars but that was really the first year we'd done it mm -hmm. uh, we did guitars for the 80s last year and this year we did castles to decorate for the theme I love them as we've and, driven around town yeah. I yeah. love seeing my husband even says you know I saw another castle yeah <laughs> and the enthusiasm people wanted to get started and decorate that castle and get involved. I'm sure it existed in the past, but for some reason this year, I feel like the energy might have been different. Maybe it's the Disney theme, giving hope to the hopeless, and I certainly think it is fitting for the theme. And uh, yeah, I feel the enthusiasm building, and I hope it continues on. I'm sure it will for Ryan as well. But for me, that's what felt different. I just felt more enthusiasm, and maybe I shirked the, uh, the nerves from the first year, but it certainly felt more enthusiastic. And I need to brag on Jane a little bit. She brings a lot of creativity <laughs> yeah. to the campaign. And a so. lot of enthusiasm Exactly. As well. yeah. so, uh, and they both do, I tell you. And oh, you yes. saw their energy Absolutely. at the uh, at the kickoff. And uh, again, they, they have fun with it, but their passion shows through. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, I can't say enough about, um, it's so inspiring to me to get to work with two people who care so much. Absolutely. Well, the, the Pace Setter campaign, although it is over now, uh, it, it was wonderful. We, mm -hmm. we talked about how wonderful the results were, but also the events. I, I heard about some of the events. We heard about Jefferson that, Bank. Mm -hmm. what, what are some of the other fun events that come to mind? We had a lot of frog kissing. <laughs> several of the, several businesses kissing. had, had okay. uh, contests that Again, I call him the winner, but probably would be considered the loser got to kiss a frog. So I think David Rail from Central Bank uh, got to kiss a live frog. And uh, then someone from Farm Bureau got to kiss a frog as well. So that was a lot of fun. And uh, lots, of, lots of things centered around the eclipse because Good. the eclipse fell right in, the in middle, during middle the, the pay, pay yes. center campaign. Mm -hmm. So had some um, lots of Lilo and Stitch barbecues and frozen ice cream um, socials and um, some dunking booths and with that. What else can, can you guys think of that we had? I just 
at the rallies that I was at, they were always trying to get the human resource department to catch the frog. Yeah. <laughs> so I always got a kick out of that, that yeah. they're, they're on the human resource department. Of the now, were, were these were real frogs? Real yeah. frogs. You saw yeah. it at the kickoff. I yeah. know. We but commissioned the very I, frog that I got kissed. I did not realize that there were a number of, yes. a generation of real frogs. Yeah, we had mm -hmm. frog wranglers yeah. that had to catch those yeah. frogs. Uh, Huber and Associates gave away an all-expense-paid trip for two to, I believe, Mexico wow. for uh, their, in, as part of a raffle for theirs, which was uh, an incredible um, contest. Um, and then they also did, they had a um, pixie dust contest and the winner got their um, pixie dust glitter sprinkled all over their cubicles. So that I'm sure went over really well. I think that would be loser. Yeah, yeah. Either loser, which way. Loser. We always call them winners. Housekeeping <laughs> crew at night. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. enthusiastic yes. about it. Yeah. So that's just some of the fun things. I think Jefferson um, City Autoplex with the car. Yes. Uh, yes. Off the car was yes. a really neat idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, have a, we have a 1971 MG midget that um, Jefferson City Autoplex, one of our new um, pay setters is, uh, is raffling off and that will go all the way through the end of October people can buy five dollar raffle tickets online and uh, to mention another raffle um, Jefferson Bank is having a tiny bank raffle it's a little playhouse that looks just like Jefferson Bank I saw that so, yeah. and it's it's currently down on Missouri Boulevard. It is. Mm -hmm. Drive by, take a and look drive and, by and $10 and a donation to the United Way gets you a chance in That's winning fun. the tiny bank. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we're going to continue to talk about the excitement of this campaign and also how you can help the United Way of Central Missouri and its agencies. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I am Shelley Locke with Child Care Aware of Missouri. We are committed to helping families find child care and early learning programs that meet their needs. Finding the right child care or preschool is one of the most important decisions parents make. We help parents understand the types of programs available and the state's licensing rules. We also provide tips on what to look for when you visit possible programs for your child. Call us today at 866-892-3228 or visit us online at mo.childcareaware.org. Child Care Aware of Missouri, Missouri's most trusted child care resource. Hi, I'm Kurt Probst and I'm a big brother. Missouri Valley Big Brothers Big Sisters desperately need your help. Right now, more than 50 children are waiting for someone to spend time with them, waiting for a mentor. By spending time with a child, you can change their future and improve their chances of succeeding in life. All it takes is one hour a week. Call Missouri Valley Big Brothers Big Sisters at 634-3290 to get involved today. We are proud to be a United Way partner agency. Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. My guests today are the leadership of the United Way of Central Missouri. Not only the staff leadership, but the volunteers as well. So. Thank you all again for, for joining us. It, we just were talking about some of the excitement of the Pace Setter campaign and how successful it was. Uh, almost 50% of the campaign uh, was raised, of the campaign total was raised for pay, from the Pace Setter. So you were just talking about one more Pace Setter. Yes, um, Jefferson City Coca-Cola Bottling is a new pay setter with us this year, which we're so thrilled about. And they doubled their campaign, uh, their workplace campaign this year. Wow. But they're also doing something for the second consecutive year. They've got promotions about for every um, certain products are sold. Um, we uh, quarter will come back for every case sold and they're also doing some truckload sales I think with with some of their products so um, last year that was um, about fifteen thousand dollars they wow. raised for the United Way through that promotion so continue to buy those coke products yes, absolutely uh, and any other thing that comes to mind I know the costume contests were all over the place. I mean, mm -hmm. Disney, you can't no, help but right. get, dress, right. uh, get dressed yes. up in a Disney costume. I know mm -hmm. the hospitals had some of yes. their top management that won, I'll go and say won, <laughs> had to dress up and uh, what was so it? So as they, they had a, a big um, poster in their cafeteria that about six or seven leadership were began in their own clothes, you know, in their attire. And then as they reached every $3,000 goal they passed, um, they became d princes and princesses. Oh, and so, great. and then the, um, uh, Brent Vanconia, I think he walked around um, and uh, was in a Mickey costume and visited patients' rooms. Yes, as part I of saw their, pictures of so, that. Yeah, that was fun <laughs> yeah. too. In fact, I think there was some pictures in the uh, 
St. Mary's Hospital for your talk, uh -huh. uh, showing and talking mm -hmm. about that. You know, one thing that I think that people forget is not only is the support of the United Way and 28 inch uh, agencies, correct? But also you provide additional grants during the year, do you not? We do, and so we've been really blessed the last many years that we have exceeded our campaign goals. So, so we have been able to put out community support grant opportunities to Health and Human Service 501c3s in, in our seven county area. And so last year that we were able to um, put out $80,000 in one-time grants. And That's there were, great. There were um, 11 um, grantees, and uh, some of those are our, our, our partner agencies, but some are our other health and human service organizations that, so it's our opportunity to help them play a small role in the good work they're doing and really address those critical, immediate, unmet needs in the community. And I think this is a good time to mention, for more information regarding the United Way of Central Missouri, you can call 636-4100 or you can visit www.unitedwaycemo.org or you can visit them on Facebook and I encourage you to do that because a lot of good information continues to come to the community uh, through those medias, uh, or that media and it, it also gives you a lot of opportunities to get involved as well. How important is the United Way campaign to these agencies, Anne, in your estimation? I, they will tell you it's very important and, and because the part, it's like a family, but certainly those agencies and we, as you know, Linda, we are, the United Way funding is, is um, larger with some agencies and smaller with others, but about 50% of our agencies, we are 40 to 60% of their of their operating budget. So if they had to raise those dollars on their own, in addition to the dollars they're raising, um, that would be very difficult. And, and uh, without United Way funding, about 50% of those agencies would not be able to continue to operate. So it's very critical. And you know, you think about what's going on in, in uh, what's happened with Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma. And uh, we're so proud of the work the United Way agencies in those communities are doing and the way our whole, of course, country is rallied around them. But it's just another, um, example and, and really a stark example of why it's so important to keep our United Way strong for Absolutely. for those you know the, the disasters, but also people who are going through their own personal crisis. I was going to say there each there are a number of disasters every day in many people's lives uh, within our expanded community. And by the way, speaking of expanded community, the United Way covers Cole, Monata, Miller. Osage, Southern Callaway, Camden, and Morgan. Okay. It's amazing. What, as you look at the United Way and its agencies now, what's the difference in your minds between prior to your volunteering hmm. and now? Go ahead, Jen. I, Brian said it earlier, just what these agencies actually, what, they're, what they do. Um, 28 partner agencies, and one of my favorite things to say is where one, where one uh, leaves off, another one picks up, mm -hmm. and I think that's the beauty of it. Um, your difficult time doesn't end with just an instance. It, often the difficult time goes on Continues. for mm -hmm. Yeah, right. it does, and where your children may be small, you need help with daycare when your children are in middle school. You may need mentors to help you with your child rearing you know, efforts. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Big brothers, big sisters can do that, and of course, Jeff City Daycare. It's amazing how they do fit together. Ann calls it like a puzzle, but where one leaves off, the next picks up. And I love that part, and I've really seen it. It's made sense, you know, uh, this, this year. I, I think it goes further. If somebody's struggling in this world, you know, they might need shelter, but then if they need shel emergency shelter, they probably have some food insecurities as well and that's where the food bank comes into play. And then their kids, they probably need some daycare options for their kids and where the big, brother, big brothers, big sisters, um, Boys and Girls Club, Jeff City Daycare. So the people that really need this help the most need it from a lot of the different agencies. It's just not like they're using one of the agencies to get them through this valley in their life. Um, and so that's where what's been beneficial to me to help share the story about the United Way is how better that we can leverage our dollars to make the most out of it with all these agencies coming together so you're not duplicating efforts. 
and that's been uh, a great way that we can help raise some money to show people that we're being good stewards of their money. You know, and it's interesting that you say that because when you stop and think, that's one of the, the value that these agencies bring is because they want to work together with mm -hmm. other agencies. Mm -hmm. right. They are not playing the independent game. No. They are eager to uh, work with each other mm -hmm. and help people in our community. In fact, they still meet on a regular basis, they don't do. they? We have monthly meetings and um, and they will tell us, they do tell us that, during, you know, we have a, a period during the campaign that we ask them not to fundraise on behalf of their own agencies, but to fundraise, help us fundraise and to speak out on behalf of the campaign. And they are so great to come out and, and it, as um, Jane and Ryan have said, you know, for them to talk to the businesses and, and to let people know what they do and to tell those, those testimonials of people whose lives have been touched, you know, that really helps the community understand the value of what those agencies are bringing to this community. You know, it's interesting, as, as you were talking about that, I had flashbacks to those meetings as I used to attend of listening to not only the, the agency leadership, but as you said, to some of the clients of mm -hmm. these agencies and the, the impact that the agency has and the impact that the United Way has on the agencies and thus the clients they mm -hmm. serve. It's dramatic. Well, yes. I, mean, I, don't, I didn't realize this until I started getting more knowledgeable that one out of two people in our community are affected by one of our partner agencies. And That's amazing, over 88,000 people mm -hmm. are That's last amazing. year served. It is, it's a, it's a huge number. How important are volunteers to the United Way? And you can say very important, but give us some example. Yeah. You know, um, Here's a we pretty could, good example. We, right here. we <laughs> could not do what we do without, I mean, our volunteers are the United Way. And so these two are, perf are just wonderful example of the volunteers that we have working on our behalf. Um, we had an event last night, Mid-Missouri's Got Talent. And we had, um, again, we asked people to do a lot of fun, kind of crazy things, dressing up like Corella DeVille. We had Janet Wearinlow dressed up like Corella. And um, Missy Dunn was Elsa, along with our Disney theme. Carlos Graham was the genie, and Russ Bell was Gaston. And, and, but, you know, I think, again, they have fun with it, but it's bigger than that, and it's more than that. It's, they believe so much in the work of our agencies and United Way that they're willing to put themselves out there and um, the hours that these two are putting in, and uh, they Incredible. always have a smile on their face, and they care so much. And that's, they're just, a, they're just an example of the hundreds and hundreds of people that are doing the heavy lifting on behalf of the United Way. And, you know, we're able to keep our administrative costs low because so much of the work is done by volunteers. I know, that's wonderful. Um, you had a special new event. The we, purse of it. We did. Oh, yeah. we Tell did. us about that. So it's called The Power of the Purse, um, our first ever, and hopefully um, the first of many to come. And so it was, a, it was an opportunity to bring together the amazing women in our community. And um, so it, we had 100 purses donated by um, people, individuals, and businesses all over the community. And um, so we had, it, was a, it was a cocktail type reception. And um, the ladies had so much fun. And then we had gentlemen gentlemen um, modeling those purses and it was it was the atmosphere was um, just so it was just fun but yet again we always came back to the seriousness of why everyone was there but um, we um, were able to raise about thirty seven thousand dollars through that event which that's was amazing incredible that's wonderful and um, but uh, again it was connecting these ladies and, and helping them see many of them had never really been introduced to what United Way was or is and so that was an opportunity to help educate them but with this our next step with this group is it's that was the first step in a women's affinity group women united and we're going to invite these women to work with us going forward on some projects and uh, you know whether it's going to be working on on um, hunger initiatives or it might be early childhood uh, literacy issues we're still looking at what the best first project's going to be but it's this was a great first step. That's wonderful. That's a great opportunity, not only to raise funds, but also uh, to gain volunteers and leadership as we go forward within our community. Definitely. So it's, it was a, a good thing. Definitely. It, were you all there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was fun. <laughs> My favorite. I thought so. It was I talked myself out of modeling, though. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well. 
he was very helpful. We'll hit him up next year, right? <laughs> right. Well, what was interesting for me is I go to a lot of events, as you probably do, and often it's either an older demographic or this. This was a demographic of young women, middle-aged women, and then mature women. I don't know how you put it, mm -hmm. but it was just a great mix, which a lot of times events tend to skew to one age group or another, but this one was well mixed. We had a lot of a lot of fun uh, we did with that and that really was a goal because we wanted to reach outside of the United Way um, volunteers that we can depend on on a daily basis mm -hmm. and again reach some of those women that are doing amazing things um, but um, we wanted to introduce them to what United Way is and, and ask for their help what and a wonderful way to do that mm -hmm. was was the campaign video which this year is a wonderful video uh, tell us about the Two agencies, two I believe, agencies. who are in the video. Talk, talk a little bit about the, the video. You want to need to? Or? Jane? Uh, sure. Um, this year, our, the agencies were Big Brothers, Big Sisters and Council for Drug-Free Youth. And what was amazing to me, we had some brave young people that have experienced some difficult times with, for example, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, uh, where the mentorships actually helped them get through a, a difficult time. Um, or not, I guess times plural with mm -hmm. this uh, sure. big, uh, uh, big sister actually helping this young student through uh, just basic life, life, you know, life, life events. Experiences. Exactly. Sure. And so it was really reinforcing what that agency is. And the young lady that spoke on behalf of how it helped her was amazing. And then of course, uh, Council for Drug Free Youth. We had two young people that spoke on camera about their experiences, how drugs had um, negatively affected their life, and how the positive, um, how it turned to a positive thing by being part of uh, Council you, for Drug Free Youth. You know, that takes a tremendous amount of courage to do mm -hmm. that, it especially really, for a young yeah. person. If Definitely. someone's interested in providing some donations to the campaign, what do they need to do? So they can go to our website. That's the, probably the easiest way, unitedwaycemo.org, and you can donate there, or certainly they can always contact our office, and our, um, we, we would be happy to help them with that process. And, um, you know, we also have a monthly news insert, a publication through News Tribune, and there's always an, a way to give um, through that, that publication as well. And I encourage you to uh, go into those media sites and learn more about the United Way. I, I'm probably stepping out of my zone to say this, but I have a feeling that when you do that, you'll be incredibly honored to provide help, either by volunteering or financial help to this organization. It's a wonderful organization. Thank you all for what you're doing, not only for our community, but for our expanded community and the agencies that are trying to help people, the 88,000 in our community. Thank you, Linda. We look forward to seeing you next time. Good night and God bless. <laughs>